Hello everyone and welcome back to another Tempo Storm video, this time featuring Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Battlegrounds is Hearthstone's newest game mode that is taking the community by storm. With the full mode just recently releasing, we wanted to take some time to break down what exactly this game mode is and how to play it before you get your hands on it. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on upcoming Battlegrounds content so you can start grinding your way to the top of the ladder. At the start of each game, you'll enter a lobby with seven other players and be presented with a choice of heroes. Each hero has its own unique hero power that gives it its own specific strength to build around. You'll need to choose a hero based on what you like or based on what can give you the best synergies. Once each player finishes choosing their heroes, the game begins. Each player starts the game with three gold, which can be used to purchase minions. Just like mana crystals in traditional Hearthstone, this resource refreshes and increases by one every turn, up to a cap of 10 gold. Any unspent gold left at the end of a turn does not roll over to the next turn, so it's a good idea to try and spend all of your gold on each of your turns if possible. At the beginning of the first round, everyone is presented with an initial choice of three minions to pick from. You use your initial three gold to purchase a unit and place it onto the board. Minions will refresh at the start of every recruit phase, so don't count on the same minions showing up each round. If you don't have enough gold and want to purchase multiple minions, you can freeze the board to lock those minions in place so you can buy them in the next round. After your minion is purchased and placed on the board, the combat phase begins. Purchasing rounds and combat rounds alternate, so you will have the chance to purchase new units after any given combat, unless you're dealt lethal damage. Once you get further into the game, you can upgrade your tavern at the cost of a certain amount of gold. The amount of gold necessary to upgrade the tavern depends on what tier you're upgrading to and how far along in the game you are. Upgrading your tavern presents you with more powerful minions to choose from. Each minion costs 3 gold to purchase, and all minions sell for 1 gold apiece. To get better units, you'll need to either level up your tavern or combine 3 of the same minion to create a golden copy. Leveling up the tavern increases the likelihood of finding stronger units, while combining 3 of the same minions will give you a copy that has double the stats and effects of its non-golden counterpart. Getting a golden card also grants you a triple reward card that allows you to discover Discover a higher tiered minion to add to your hand. So we've talked about what you can do to obtain minions, but what do we actually do with them? Well, after the recruiting phase is combat, where you and whoever you're paired against that round face off where your minions battle each other. When combat begins, each player's minions will alternate attacking, starting from the leftmost minion to the rightmost minion. Each minion will attack the opponent's minions at random, unless there is a taunt in the way, in which case they will always attack the taunt minions first. Combat ends after one or both player's minions are defeated. Because of how combat works in this mode, you'll want to position your minions carefully so that whatever you want to die first, usually death rattles, are positioned on the left, while high value or scaling minions like junk bot are positioned on the right. When a player wins combat, they will deal damage to the opponent equal to the number of stars on your surviving minions, plus the current tier of the winner's tavern. There are a few different synergies available in Battlegrounds. There are cards that synergize with beasts, demons, mechs, murlocs, and cards that work with all of the minion types. We won't get too in-depth on synergies in this video, but expect more strategy content coming to this channel soon, so be sure to subscribe to get a deeper look into building compositions. The game ends when only one player is left standing to call themselves the winner. Don't be intimidated by this though, because everyone who ends the game in the top 4 is considered a winner and is awarded points depending on their placing. There is a ton of depth to Battlegrounds, and this video really only scratches the surface. We hope this helped provide you with a solid introduction to the new format. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with our upcoming Battlegrounds content. Enjoy yourselves in the battleground and remember to have fun.